Hi, this is Matthew with RetroEdge.Tech and I'm going to be talking about how to add system information to display every time you start the terminal. And uh, I'm going to be using a utility called NeoFetch and uh, here is the GitHub page right here. And NeoFetch is written in Bash, so Bash is the um, command line language or the default shell. It's both a programming language and the shell, the interface, that is the default for most Linux distributions. Uh, and therefore, it is installed on most Linux um, Linux options and others. Uh, what's cool about this NeoFetch fetch utility is it displays uh, information about your machine and also some other things that you can customize to decide what you want to display. Um, and I'm going to be showing how you can just you know install that run that and then customize how it's displayed. And the cool thing is that every time you open the terminal, you can have NeoFetch uh, run and show you um, your system, display your system uh, information. So I'll just run it here and up it pops. And uh, I'm on Manjaro and you can see all of the kinds of things that, you know, here's the kind of computer that I'm using. Uh, the kernel that I'm using, and some extra stuff. And I've uh, commented some things out uh, so that uh, not everything by default shows up uh, when, when I run it, and I'm going to explain how to do that as well. So this is on my main machine, uh, and so let's go to a virtual machine, to Linux Mint, and from scratch um, do this. So we'll open up a terminal, and uh, we don't have... NeoFetch installed uh, here, and we'll just check that. I'll say which NeoFetch, and if it were installed, it would uh, show me the location of, of the NeoFetch program. Since it's not there, it returned nothing. If I say what is NeoFetch, it will, oh, it says nothing appropriate, so it doesn't have a, a, an entry in the what is database. So let's install it on Ubuntu and Debian based systems. The command that I would use for that is sudo. So we're going to um, be using uh, super user privileges, apt for the package manager, install, and then the name of the package, which is NeoFetch. I'm going to type in the password. And so it's going to pull this down from the repository, install it, set up the man page for it. And now when I type which neo fetch, there it is, it's installed. Um, and so uh, if I were just to run it, there you go, you can kind of see what is displayed. Um, so here in the virtual machine, it, it gives shows what kind of computer I'm running, which is, is a virtual machine. Um, it shows which version of Bash I'm using, the display, um, uh, the desktop environment I'm using uh, since we're in uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon, uh, the default version of Linux Mint. Uh, it's running the Cinnamon desktop environment, a bunch of other details, what kind of icons, the kind of terminal I have, processor, etc. how much memory I have in the virtual machine. Um, so if I close that out and then I, I open the terminal again, um, it, it's not going to run that. And something that's pretty cool is to uh, have that run every time that the terminal is open. So you can you know, kind of display the system stats when you open your terminal. And um, I, I think I have Vim installed on this. So which Vim? Yep, Vim is installed here. And so we're going to say Vim and then the uh, shortcut to my home folder, and then dot bash rc. Um, and this is going to have um, all the settings uh, and configuration for when my bash session starts when I open a terminal. And so I'm going to go to the end of this file by uh, typing in uppercase g, and that'll take me to the very end of the configuration file. And then I'm going to press a lowercase o, which is going to open insert mode in the line below the one that I was on. So I was on the further, the, the bottom most line, the, the line that it was for, uh, 
at the end of the file, and by pressing O, I'm going to open up a new line and insert there. And I'll just press return again, um, and then I'm going to say something like, I'm going to put a comment, display system info. info. And then uh, after that, I'm going to say neo fetch, and that will just run that program at the end of this. So I'll press escape um, to get out of that, and then press shift colon, and then W for write, and Q for quit. And so we won't get out, and now that is there. Um, I've edited the bash RC file. Now I can exit out of that, and then the next time I do the terminal, boom, there it is, because I've changed the bash RC file um, so that NeoFetch runs at the end, then we can see that every time I open up the bash shell, either by clicking on the terminal icon or if I open a new bash session um, by typing bash in, and um, then it will display the information from NeoFetch right away. I just like to customize this a little bit to, um, for example, I just want to get rid of, let's say I want to comment a few things out. Um, I'd like to comment out the, um, you know, this kind of stuff right here, starting from there and kind of on there. So the, the theme and the icon stuff, I'm like, I don't really care about displaying those. So let's look at how to um, edit that so that uh, the behavior changes of what NeoFetch displays. So we'll do vim. And then again, the shortcut to my home folder. Um, and then dot config um, holds a lot of the configuration files for my user. And then because we've started, um, you know, I think I think it's there. Let's see, cd dot config ls. Oh, yep, and neofetch is there. cd neofetch. And then if we ls there, list the files that are inside that directory, we can see that there's a config file there. So let's use vim to open that up again, or open it up. And here is just um, the configuration file, and it's going to show it right here at the top. It's just giving, giving information of, hey, here's all the stuff that it shows. And here's some stuff that's commented out that is optional that you could put there. Um, so, for example, if you're on a laptop and you wanted to show some information about the battery, you could uncomment that line. I haven't tried that, um, but that'd be something that'd be interesting uh, to try. Um, and, yeah, and then it goes on and explains a whole lot more options and things that you have. For our purposes, um, I just want to uh, get rid of those uh, those four lines there that were had to deal with the theme and the icons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press I for insert and then put an octothorpe or a hashtag in, in front of those four lines and in bash that comments those out. So I'm press, going to press escape again um, and then colon WQ and now uh, when let's say I exit, exit um, now, when I bring up the terminal again, it's going to comment those out, and then it's not going to show the information about the icons. So in summary, uh, we've installed NeoFetch on Linux Mint. We've uh, changed the bash RC file so that it runs NeoFetch every time that the terminal is opened or a new bash session is started. And we've uh, edited the configuration of NeoFetch to comment out some of the uh, system information that we don't want to display. So you can um, customize it a bit just to your, your liking by using the configuration file for NeoFetch. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.